Hey guys, it's time to work. Uh, Earl Grey. If any of you are ever wondering, the type of tea I drink is Earl Grey. I love um, strawberry Earl Grey the most. Uh, strawberry Earl Grey iced tea with tapioca. I like Earl Grey bubble tea is what I'm trying to say. I love bubble tea. If you live in a very, very small town, I doubt you've ever had bubble tea. But if you live in London, why haven't you had it yet? It's amazing. It's everywhere in Soho. So take yourself into Soho and grab yourself some bubble tea. Um, most of the bubble tea places in Soho are very, very good. So I definitely recommend you go there. Uh, you know, everyone's talking about the Fantastic Four movie, and I only saw half of it because, um, not because it annoyed me that much, because it did, and I would have walked out anyway, but because I had stuff to do halfway through the movie that I'd forgotten about, and so I just kind of walked out, and I wasn't enjoying the movie, so I didn't really mind doing that, but I need to, I need to go and see it again, so I can give, um, a proper review for it, because I'd like to start doing some comic book um, movie reviews. And it's the only one that's out at the moment, so it kind of sucks that the first one I'd have to do is negative. But at the same time, maybe I won't go and see it again because I didn't like it. So, you know, maybe I won't and I'll just save my first one for a movie that I actually enjoy. So, so far today, I, um, okay, let me explain to you where I was yesterday first because if you didn't notice, there wasn't a time to work yesterday. I woke up and I had a headache that was right there, but it was blinding, like I couldn't see, there was like a white haze over both of my eyes, and I just, no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't focus on anything. So I kind of went downstairs, explained to my family what it was, and they were like, that's a migraine, take some painkillers, go back to sleep. And I was like, well I've got to work, and they were like, take some painkillers and go back to sleep. And very, very rarely will my family ever say stop working and rest um, because I was always brought up with the attitude of unless you're dying don't stop working and I still carry that over lots of times um, particularly when I was living in America people would say to me you know uh, oh you know you can rest stop working it's fine and I'd be like no because the world doesn't stop because I'm not well so I can't stop because I'm not well um, you know, and some people don't agree with that attitude. I was brought up with it, and I'm still alive, so I'm going to throw that out there and leave it at that. But yeah, so I didn't want to stop, so I tried not stopping working, and I tried looking at a computer screen and regretted it straight away, so I really had no choice but to keep on going. And, um, yeah, I, I didn't like that I had to rest, but after I got about nine hours sleep, um, I woke up and the headache was still there, um, but I could see, so that was good. I managed to get some writing done, but um, I wanted to film yesterday and I couldn't, because the plan was yesterday to wake up at about 7, which I did, finish up writing one of my videos, or rather editing the script for it, um, which I did, and then film it by 12, which I didn't. I got, f I got started filming by... Well, about six o'clock in the morning today, uh, which is about 24 hours out of plan. But it's fine, because I got it done, and I can start editing from now. Yeah, I'm about a day behind and everything, but it's fine. It's fine. I've got summer in the city this weekend, um, but I'm not sure what days I'm going. I was planning on going Saturday and Sunday, but if I can... Because I'm doing some presenting stuff on the stage there. Uh, I just don't know what I'm doing and when they've penciled me in for. Um, but if they're penciling me in for the Sunday, I might tell them I can't do it. Because, um, you know, there's some personal stuff going on. I've got a lot of work to do. There's some family stuff. And, you know, I'd love to be there um, and on the Sunday and stuff. But honestly... I've got a couple of meetings to go to there, and everything else that I want to be there for is on the Saturday. So it just kind of makes sense that if I am presenting, I'd like it to be on the Saturday, along with everything else I'm doing. 
I've got a party there on a Saturday as well, and um, with Maker Studios, that the YouTube network I'm with. I'm really looking forward to that. I love meeting up with Maker Studios and sort of meeting them and chilling and stuff, so it should be fun. It should be fun. Maybe I will go this Sunday. I'm not sure. It's just because, like, Summer in the City is really for fans of YouTubers, and not necessarily for YouTubers, but it's so the YouTubers can go there and meet their, I don't like referring to you guys as fans, but followers. Um, and the issue that I have is most of my followers are not in the UK, and the ones that are in the UK wouldn't typically go to an event like Summer in the City, they'd mostly go to like London Comic Con or Birmingham Comic Con. Uh, which are the two UK sort of equivalent of New York and San Diego Comic Con. Um, so, my issue is that, am I going to go there and no one's going to know about me there? Um, because I don't want to do a whole, don't you know who I am? Oh my god! Like, no, if a person doesn't know who I am, they don't know who I am. I'm not the world's biggest YouTuber. Um, so I don't really expect people to know who I am, but I was looking on the guest lineup because um, I thought my friend Kim from the Yogs cast was going to be there for some reason. She never said she was going to be there. I don't know why she said she was going to, uh, why I thought she was going to be there, but she's not. And um, that's a bit of a conundrum because I wanted to meet up with her because I haven't seen her since I met her in April. So I haven't actually seen her since April. I almost saw her again. Um, we're working on the project together. I can't really talk about it if you're wondering. Um, but yeah, I almost saw her at London MCM Expo in May. Because she tweeted at me she was going to come and visit. Um, but my booth just wasn't fun. Uh, again, because most of my followers are in America. Um, so the moment I broke even selling cosplay prints, I was like, right, I'm out of here, see ya! Uh, and I met more of you guys wandering around the convention than I did at my booth, which isn't a good thing, but it's also a good thing, because it kind of proves, like, next time just don't do the booth, just sell cosplay prints on the internet. And, um, when I eventually get invited to a convention in America, I will sell my cosplay prints there, but... For the UK, it just doesn't make much sense. Um, other than that, somewhere in the city, you've got editing to do. Uh, it's Wednesday tomorrow, so comic day tomorrow, new comic book day. I've been getting comics digitally recently, because um, I've mentioned before I'm looking to move. Um, so I just want as little stuff as possible to pack, um, which, you know, kind of makes sense. So, yeah, new comic book day tomorrow, I'm looking forward to that, as always. Um, that's it. That's it. So, I hope you, thank you guys for watching, and thank you for subscribing if you've subscribed to this channel. It honestly means a lot. I really want to turn um, time to work into a major part of what I do here on YouTube. So, honestly, thank you for watching, and bye-bye.